All right, our project is V5D Software, and I'm Jimmy Majors with Austin Anderson and Tyler Larson. Uh, this is Austin Anderson, and V5D focuses on uh, visual demonstration using uh, time and uh, cost for keeping the, all the projects on time and on budget. Project organization and efficiency is one thing they love to hone in on in their demonstrations, and they can show that through the duration of a whole project. Um, they're big on demonstrating safe working conditions, and when they have personnel walking around job sites, everything has to do with safety. Um, they give ongoing consideration to local communities and logistics, as shown in all of their software presentations, and their goal at the end of every project is to leave a positive and lasting legacy to the region. Uh, it's Tyler Larson. So for site logistics from V5D, they, uh, it goes a long way in helping with site storage, road management, security, and overall safety of the site. And then it also helps with major parts of the project like crane mobilization and pedestrian routes. So V5D is highly detailed. It provides everyone a, the ability to visualize. Uh, they have a thing that's a VR model that you can go in, put on some VR goggles and basically walk around the pro project. Um, once the site gets going and everything, you can further develop site logistics if needed. As those change, V5D is very extensive in that sense. V5D takes 3D models uh, that come from a 2D interface and they link them to both the schedule and the cost estimate. So it gives the best overall view for the client as seen here. So our industry professional was John Ferry. We reached out to him through email and he graduated with a bachelor's degree in architecture from Manchester School of Architecture in 2003. He's worked both in architectural practices and visual design studios before co-founding V5D in 2012. John pretty much oversees all projects and manages the design team. And with that, we wanted to ask him some kind of main questions as listed here. And um, the first question we asked him was, how do you go about change orders with it? Because we were curious if it was easy after you build this whole extravagant model, if it was easy to go in and change things along the way, or if change orders are submitted, if you can just link in small changes and then incorporate that over the whole duration of the project. And John said, it is really difficult actually to implement any changes in a diagram. So we thought that was interesting. Uh, next, we asked John what their most significant project they used V5D on, and it was actually in Oak Ridge, Vancouver, and it was the largest residential project in North America with over 12 towers built for apartment type living. And then what are the limitations? The limitations of the project or V5D is the project has to be over $5 million. They don't really take on anything smaller just because it's so extensive. And then V5D being so extensive, they pretty much have to have an in-house specialist with it, but it allows collaboration across the board and there's a lot of collaboration through it, but that communication gets get sticky sometimes. Here is a video kind of showing V5D in the works that John walked us through. Hey, that's your body. Thank you got this. And with that, if you guys have any questions, let us know. Thank you. Thank you.